Today we're looking at Dragon Touch's Max 10 Android tablet. So let's go! This is a budget 10 inch tablet that sells for around £140 on Amazon and it's slightly cheaper than Amazon's own Fire HD 10 inch tablet. You're getting an octa-core processor coupled with a full HD 1920x1200 IPS display and also a fairly up-to-date version of Android 9.0 Pi. We have the usual connectivity built into this tablet such as 2.4GHz and 5GHz Wi-Fi connectivity and of course Bluetooth. This model now features 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage and after Android has been installed you're left with roughly 25GB for your own content and apps. Don't forget though you can install your own micro SD card to further your memory expansion. The Max 10 charges from empty to full in roughly 5 hours and with moderate use I've seen roughly the same amount of time 5 hours return in battery life. The device features haptic feedback and if you don't know what that means, each time you press a button or type on the screen, the device vibrates to acknowledge your input. This makes using the device more reassuring. The Max 10 is a GMS certified Android tablet and you have full access to the Google services such as Gmail, YouTube, Drive, Maps and the Play Store. The user experience has been really quite surprising. The Android operating system pretty much includes zero bloatware from the get-go and that really shows. The interface is really snappy and responsive, with apps loading quickly on your request. Swiping around and using the tablet is fluid and there seems to be a real premium feel to the entire experience. The display is pretty decent in my book. It's pretty bright, you could even use it outside to a certain extent. One of the really cool apps on this thing is Google Keep. Now how ideal is this for teaching children how to draw or learn the alphabet and to understand numbers? Or you could even write a shopping list or add reminders. And I must mention the Wi-Fi signal is always really strong, even here upstairs where I'm filming this today. Refreshing media content from media rich web pages such as this one on the screen here is really fast and that'll be down to that octa-core processor. The build quality really shows and the construction quality shows too. The Max 10 has fairly thin bezels and a glass display and the back is aluminium and it feels as though you're holding a premium product. On the side we have a 3.5mm headphone jack, the power button, volume up and down below that. On the bottom of the tablet we have stereo speakers and on the top we have a micro SD expansion slot. The great thing about the Max 10 is it weighs less than one kilo. Let's take a look at some audio quality from YouTube. This is the device playing audio at half volume and to me it's quite good. Let's take a look at the video playback quality from YouTube. Video playback from YouTube is absolutely fine, it's smooth and it's fluid especially at the higher resolutions at 1080p at 60 frames per second. This is the built in camera on the rear and the front. As for the camera images, they could be a little bit better, let's be fair, but for what it is, it's a budget tablet and it works just fine. How about the gaming experience? Let's find out. There is a built-in microphone here at the bottom of the tablet, so you can use Google Smart Assistant and use it for video and audio calls. 
And by the way, if you guys fancy picking one of these Max 10 tablets up, just click the link in the description box below and it'll take you straight to the product on Amazon. So overall, a solidly built tablet for the money. The Max 10's haptics are great, it provides great feedback to the user, and there's no doubt that these Max 10 tablets are probably also rebranded for use for other brands. But do you know what? It's a great piece of hardware for the cost. It's well packaged and well presented. I think the two things I'd ask for is a higher resolution camera and for the device to be physically a different shape, perhaps more of a slate flat design as opposed to the back being slightly curved. Other than that, you really can't go wrong. It'll watch a TV series all day long and allow you to stream high quality YouTube videos for hours on end. It will let you play mobile games and run video calls while still keeping cool and providing a productive device to work on when required. I think I've covered most of the features for this tablet today, and personally I don't think you can go wrong with it. It's a budget tablet, ideal for most modern day tasks, and also an option to those who don't want or need to spend £800 on those high-end tablets. I'll leave it there for now guys, you make your own decision on whether you like this tablet and whether you'd like to pick one up. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the review of the Dragon Touch Max 10 today, and as always I'll see you next time. Bye for now, bye!